another day A cloudless sky It only lasts Till the planes fly by Hi, my name is Paul Mann I represent Australia and New Zealand Junior Engineering Protest um, I draw your attention to page 21 of the report uh, The final paragraph talks about geoengineering uh, as a tool to uh, mitigate climate change. Um, we believe that geoengineering is already happening on a large scale uh, in a covert fashion in the world. Uh, Stratospheric aerosol injections, um, you know, straight terms of chemtrails. Um, these, are, these are out there, people are documenting these every day and recording them. Scientists in the geoengineering community talk about using um, Chemicals such as aluminium, barium, strontium, uh, highly reflective nanoparticles to create uh, solar umbrella, solar radiation management. Um, we're seeing these chemicals represented now uh, in the soils, in the waters, people doing air and blood analysis tests and uh, finding very, very high levels of you know, aluminium, barium, strontium, etc. So, um, what are your thoughts about geoengineering? Uh, do you have a positional statement on it? Are you aware that geoengineering is already happening in the world and that uh, it's not being advertised by governments globally? Bill, would I take that? Um, I think a lot about geoengineering. I, I teach geopolitics of climate change, and a large part of that is what should we do about geoengineering? It's got major governance issues, major problems with international law, but it is happening, I agree. Um, I'm not sure about the examples you use, but I certainly know that uh, uh, ocean fertilisation experiments are taking place and many, many proposals for geoengineering. Is it going to continue to happen? Has it already started? Is it going to happen? Um, if I can uh, steal a, a comment by John Holdren, who was the science advisor for President Obama, and elaborate on, on that or embroider a bit more. He said, well, I, I'm saying using his words, you can do four things about climate change. You can mitigate, and reduce emissions, you can adapt, you can geoengineer, that's my admission, or you can suffer. My feeling is we'll do all four. And geoengineering has major issues because of governments and how you actually regulate. If a small island state decides to do stratospheric injection of aerosol, who's going to stop it? And those not understanding slowly turn the other way, dismissing those who suffer and ignoring what they say. And those with condescension will continue.